Okay, this will be a quick look at the speed up and how I got it set up for this place. Anyways, um, we'll go to the home. So it's uh, it's connected. As you can see, it shows you the model, the manufacturer. Now the voltage I can't change. It's actually 52 volts. That's what it should be. But it's it's stuck at 48. And I've even tried on the computer with the configuration tool for the fang and I, I can't change it. It's stuck at 48. I'd like to be able to change it to 52. And um, so the settings here, we'll go to general. This is the tab at the top left. Low, low battery protection is at 42 volts. I keep changing it to 43 and it keeps changing back to 42. It won't let me change it. And the current limit, I've got 28. I can't, I can't go up if I try to go to 30. And I'll try to write it. It'll give me an error. So I can't write it. So now I'll read it. And it's back to 28. So it won't... The battery, the battery low protection, that'll, that'll change back to 42. Next time I turn the bike on. It, do, it doesn't keep the, that setting. And uh, the current limit, I can't change it. 20, I can change it down. I can go to 25 or 20, but I can't go up. So those settings can't change much. You got the wheel diameter, you got lots of options. Mine's 26, so I leave it at 26. And I got one magnet on my wheel, so I got I got it set for one signal. So the levels here, I have it on amps right now, and kilometers an hour. So I changed this uh, zero to 3.64 amps or 13%. That's my walk. So if I need to walk anywhere, I can use my throttle to walk instead of having to hold these two buttons down, which is hard, pretty difficult when you're trying to walk with the bike. They expect you to hold buttons down on the display. Um, it just doesn't work. So my level zero is, is a walk. It's a nice, easy pace. Four kilometers an hour max speed and 3.6 amps. And I changed the uh, one, two, three, and four. I changed those to 12, 14, 16, and 20. So those are nice uh, cruising speeds. And uh, that's the settings I chose anyways for for this and the rest of it's pretty much stock so the the five six seven eight and nine is pretty much the stock setting I, i'm pretty sure i didn't change anything so for uh, that's for that page anyway for the levels and then you got the pedal assist page so i dropped the start current from 50 down to 25 because it gives you too much of a jolt at, at 50 and um, i changed the stop delay down to 100 milliseconds Everything else on here is the stocks. Oh, the keep current. I put so it, the keep current is what I think it is, anyways. When you hit when you hit your speed, your predetermined speed, then it, it cuts it cuts down the current, your amperage. So it cuts it down fifty percent. So if if say you're it was if the bike was giving you seven hundred fifty watts, but you got your your set speed, which would say twenty kilometers an hour. Then it'll cut it in half. That's uh, that's what I think the the keep current is because it seems like when I did change this down to fifty, that it does give me a little less. Once I hit this predetermined speed on the levels, it seems to have cut the speed by fifty percent or the power by fifty percent. And then you can maintain what you're doing fairly easy with that fifty percent. You don't you're not accelerating at all. You're just trying to maintain what you got. So it seems to work, and the start current's a lot easier on the drivetrain at 25, and it's and it almost seemed like it was too much. It gives you too much of a jolt at 50. So the start current I like better at the 25. And for throttle, everything is stock right now, and I actually think I like the start current down a little bit, but I'm just leaving it because it works. Um, the throttle works okay. So it it goes by display scan. So if I'm on power level nine, it gives me the power that's that power level nine 
is set at. So that would be 100%. But if I'm in power level 1, it gives me the power level that power level 1's at. So I keep it at designated by display command. And it seems to work. So anyways, the dog wants to go for a run. I'll put this on the display. I'll put the screen up so you can see where I'm riding. And you can see if this all works. Come on, Rocky. It's kind of cool right now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So yeah, see right now the bike's only giving me a hundred and some watts. Before with the stock settings, um, before with the stock settings, it was giving me, I believe, around. 2.30 or 3.30 3.30 actually it was on power level 1 so I probably could up this a little bit it's, it's, it's almost like it's not even it's barely helping it so this is like this would be a really slow setting I guess if you need a really slow setting I kind of sometimes I do need to go this slow so I'm going to go up to two whoops I got this thing in the way to two two is quite a lot quite a lot better more assist easier to keep the speed pedaling very hard to keep the speed and I think I could go up to 20 I'm just going towards to the dog here great sizes we've been on quite a few rides today just testing it out so yeah it easily gets to 20 no problem I'll try 
high level five. Gear down a bit. Now I'm going to go this way. This is a little bit downhill, but I kind of want to see. It's it's a fairly smooth dirt road, so I want to see if I can. Uh, I'm going to change the throttle setting to. Uh, or not to use this case pedal. Can turn the dirt smooth. Or the keep current. I'm going to put the keep current up to 100. And I'll rate that. Now, hopefully, it doesn't glitch out on me. And I'm going to change it to power level 9. And then see what kind of speed I can get up to here on this road. Yeah, it's crazy speed. Like, I barely even pedaled it at this spot here. Joy doesn't like me to pass her. She sees me pass her to the plane line. Hey, stop it. She's got my phone right now. cuts it down usually by 50 or what the stock setting 60 percent it cuts your power off and i think that's reasonable because you don't want to have full current all the time You're, that's pretty hard on the wiring pretty hard on all the electronics but it, it, mind you i'm feeling the cable right now and it's not hot the connector's not hot it's slightly warm like it's but it's not hot at all it's just got a bit of a warmer feel to it so I didn't uh, cook anything anyways, I don't think. I'm going to change the power level setting back to uh, back to 50. Once, once I hit... So this is my setting. This, the stock setting was 60. So I'm hitting right. So it's on there now. Okay, we'll see what we got here. So yeah, I'm not... I'm not going to... Get all the crazy speed I was before. Yeah, I definitely cut it down. battery can really go. It's not slow. It's it's almost it's too fast really if you're if you're actually if you're riding a trail or something you can't really go that fast. But this app is pretty neat. You can really change change things around. I like it on now that with the settings I have right now I like it on probably power level three I think. Seems reasonable. She's just having a drink. She usually sits in the water like that to cool her feet off from her belly. This is one of her watering spots. So anyways, I just thought I'd show this app a little bit. I don't really know it that well yet. I'm still playing around with settings. I think I'm going to change the power level one setting up. I'm going to put it up a little bit. And then power level two, I guess, will go up a little bit. 
But I like the tree. Tree seems nice. Anyways, that's the uh, app.